Our teaching inquiry uh, came about um, as a result of some of the data that we've been collecting from uh, students and from staff. Uh, it is looking at how we can improve student well-being um, through increasing personalised learning and greater student agency with digital devices. Our learners here at Christchurch Girls High School uh, have had, I guess, over uh, a number of years, excellent student achievement data. However, what we've been noticing recently is that uh, this is in stark contrast to well-being data that we're collecting. Uh, some of the students in the senior school and also in the junior school are reporting heightened levels of stress, uh, anxiety and have often indicated that that's to do with workload um, and the, a feeling of assessment overload. The data has been collected over a couple of years and, and still uh, being collected this year through some surveys um, specifically focusing on well-being. Also incorporating into that the types of questions that are asking them about uh, how they like to learn and how they would like to present what they've learned. The three of us that are working on this inquiry together, we're looking at, uh, I guess, splitting or separating um, the inquiry focus into three main areas. I am looking at increasing voice uh, and choice for my junior students in the social sciences area. Um, we still are a little, I guess, constrained um, at the moment because we need to be able to provide data across an entire cohort and so my class can't really be seen to be deviating wildly from the, the actual course structure at the moment. So within uh, the confines, if you like, of my course, I'm looking at uh, the principles of project-based learning through passions. So uh, encouraging my year nines to identify what it is that they are passionate about, what gets them excited about learning. Uh, I modelled this myself um, and then we directed those choices um, and passions into identifying a person or a place or an event in New Zealand that uh, had significance to New Zealanders. In our inquiry, and because it's a, a collaborative spiral of inquiry, the three of us um, will need to, to get together at various stages while we're um, on different paths, if you like, we're still under the, the, the main umbrella. Um, I guess working with Grow Waitaha and the secondary incubator and um, having the opportunity to meet uh, not just with ourselves but also with the other schools that are involved, that provides us with opportunities to refine what we're doing, check in with each other. In terms of impact on students, I feel like I'm only just starting to see uh, I guess increased enthusiasm for, for learning in social studies. But I guess it's too early to tell in that we, um, at this school, our inquiry cycle is from uh, the beginning of Term 2 to the beginning of Term 2 the following year. So we're just in the early throes of that. We would like to be able to share um, the results of our inquiry, which we hope of course will be successful um, in that um, our hunch is indeed proven correct. We'd like to be able to share that with the wider staff and look to perhaps drive some change uh, at the end of this year and uh, whether that's a cross-curricular year 9, year 10 uh, program, whether it's project-based learning, uh, something along those lines because I guess if we can see value in doing these because it enhances the well-being of our students then it's a, a worthy reason for change.